My arms are so tired. Woo! Hello Mashkins and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we mix all of our big batches of slime and this has been quite a highly requested video for quite a while now. I think people just want to see us mix really gigantic batches of slime and today is actually a really good day to film this video because our batches are really really low at the moment and we've had quite a few orders that we need to prep for the weekend so that's really exciting and it's a lot of hard work for me though and I've got to try and get all the footage done today. I'm really excited to film this video and I really hope that all of you like it as well. So this is where we keep all of our big batches of slime at this moment and as you can see in this one we've got our basic slime and it is so empty in here there's like nothing so I've got to mix a lot of this <laughs> especially because all of our other slimes are made with this as the base except for clear slime and here we've got a little bit of icing slime and then this this is icing slime that we use to make cloud slime so it's not as thick as the icing slime that we use for our slimes And then in this one, we've got a little bit of clear slime, but it's so little that I'm not even going to show you. And then in this one over here, we've got nothing. Cloud slime is supposed to be in there, but our cloud slime stock is depleted at the moment. So we've got to mix that as well. And then in here, we've got one of my favorite textures of slime, which is clay slime. But it's also really, really super empty in here. So we've got to stock this one up. And then underneath here is where I keep some of my crunch slime pre-mixes. This one is the one that we use for strawberry kisses. This one is popping candy and first date. This is the snow fizz slime that we use in the picnic treats trio. And over there, that's where slumber party is. And as you can see, I also need to fill up my containers because they're looking really, really sad. And then over here, we've got our mixing station. And then at the bottom here, this is where Mashi Mom keeps all of the icing slime, some of the clay slime premixes, and lots of the cloud slime premixes. And as you can see, there's like nothing in these containers, and they usually are really full. So we need to fill them up today. And then in here, we actually have some clear slime that I just that I haven't decanted yet. But as you can see, there's also nothing in here. up a little bit okay so now that i've shown you how empty our batches are i think you can all agree that i need to get mixing so i'm gonna go fetch all of our glues and creams and things in the garage which we the whole garage has been converted into a second slime room it's insane so i'm going to go and fetch all of that and then you will see me mix it so the first thing I have to do obviously is to pour all of the glue into the bowl and then I have to put in the cream because we don't use white glue, we use clear glue with cream so then you get the white base and then I need to mix all of that in really well and for some reason a lot of people find this part extremely satisfying and I'm not actually sure why, I think it's just the whole mixing that is quite satisfying to watch. And if you would like to know how to make slime, basic slime, cloud slime, clear slime, we have loads of tutorials on our YouTube channel, which shows you exactly what cream and what glue to use. So I'll be linking some of those videos in the description. And then once the mixture is all smooth, you can start adding your activator and mixing. Okay. 
and I actually really like mixing the slime with my hands because it kind of hurts mixing such a big batch of slime with a thin spoon like that so I just prefer you know adding a little bit of um, activator and then going in with my hands and then feeling when the texture is ready Okay, so I've now mixed one basic batch and that took me forever to do. So now I'm going to mix the other two off camera and then Mashi Mom came to me just now and told me that she thinks we're going to need a fourth batch as well. Okay, I know I said I was going to mix this off camera, but I just decided to take some time-lapse footage of the mixing because I find the time-lapse is actually quite satisfying to watch. So, enjoy! And then once all of the basic batches are done, it's time to make all the cloud icing and clay slimes. But it's also time to start making the smaller batches of like crunch slime and um, that I showed earlier in this video. And that just makes the whole process of making slimes much faster if you have big batches of pre-mixes. So that's what I'm going to show you now. And this next slime is actually one of my favorite slimes that we sell. It's called Smarties and Jelly Beans, and it smells exactly like the sour lollipops or sour jelly beans. It is amazing. It makes my mouth water. So this is all the little goodies that get added into this slime. And this one is quite popular, so it's really helpful having a big premix of this one.
And then this next slime is made with microfoam beads. And this one is the premix that we use for strawberry kisses. And then off camera, I added in the fragrance oil and everything. So it just makes the slime, the making of this slime go much faster if I have a big batch of scented um, micro crunch slime. And then this next slime is also a really super popular crunch slime, which is our slumber party slime. And this one, it's really important to have a premix of this one, just because it is so popular. And um, this is how we make it. And then the next big batch that I'll be showing you how we make is our clay slime batch. And this one is really difficult to mix because the clay is so tough and you've got to mix that all in. And if you are wanting a clay slime tutorial, just wait for Christmas week. It's coming up. Mixing clay slime is actually really, really, really difficult. It takes a lot of strength. So usually what I do is I ask someone else to mix it for me or I mix it on the floor. Is that skew? I've been filming the whole day and it's been a lot of work. So, Okay, in today's slime class, I'm gonna be teaching you all how to do slime flipping. This has been a massive trend in the slime community. 
actually I don't even know if it's a trend anymore but I only discovered how to do it like I would say a week ago maybe and I haven't done a video on it so the trick to get this right is actually to screen record or to video record someone doing this and then to decrease the speed like make it in slow-mo so that you can get the movement so <laughs> I'm gonna teach you all how to do this so I suggest maybe filming this or screen recording this part so that you can go practice it if you've been wanting to do it We're going to do the eternal flip. Magic. And then I think there are other tricks like Don't worry, the bucket's down there. So now, after mixing four basic batches and now having to mix a clay batch, it can become a little bit difficult to, you know, stay motivated and carry on. And usually, I mix like the basic batches on a Friday and then on the Saturday we mix the clay batches and stuff like that but because the orders have been going crazy we actually have to get everything done before Saturday <laughs> it's so difficult and as you can hear I'm really tired already like this is a lot of hard work this is no joke um, so I'm I'm just carrying on slowly but surely and doing stuff like slime flipping and everything it's like a whole new different way to play with slime and it just makes this a bit more interesting <sighs> my arms are so tired Woo! and I know every second question on the in the comments of this video is gonna be what clay do you use? And don't worry, Mushkins, I got you. I'm going to do a clay slime tutorial in Christmas, Chris, in Christmas week, and you're gonna love it. And then also for the people wondering, what glue do you use? And what cream do you use? We posted a bunch of tutorials on that, that I will be linking in the description for you. And the next batch over here is an icing slime batch in the making which we use to make our cloud slimes we should go from icing to cloud slime and like i've mentioned before if you want to know how we make this and cloud slime i'll be linking those tutorials in the description
And the next batch that I'll be showing you how we make is our clear slime batches. And we actually do these in really small quantities just because um, clear slime is a little bit difficult to make. So here is all the clear glue that I've decanted already. And now that just needs to be turned into clear slime. I'm gonna add the activator just now. And then if we move over here, all these containers also need to be filled up with slime, that as well. We've got Mash and Mom mixing some or finishing off the icing slime that needs to be made into cloud. This is our second batch of cloud slime that needs to be made. And then yeah, we've got a whole bucket full of snow. It's really nice to touch. And we do sell snow powder on our website. Yes. This makes me very tired. And in the meantime, while I was doing the clear batch, Mashimon was making the cloud slime. Here are the two batches of cloud slime that we are busy with. And as you can see, after a little while, once the snow gets time to settle into the slime, it becomes really poofy, but it's still not perfect. It needs a little bit of more icing slime. There you go. And now we can get back to the clear slime. And Mushy Mom likes using a glove when mixing in the slime. Just because, I mean, it's, a little, it's more hygienic and also you don't want any dust particles or anything getting into the slime because you can just see it really, really clearly in clear slime. And here in this bucket, we have some of the clear slime that we have made. But as you can see, it's not a lot, but we do it in smaller quantities. So we still have quite a lot of clear slime to make. Look at all of this cloud. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to divide some blobs into these different containers and make some of our <coughs> and make some of our premixes, premixed colors like the sad little amount that I've got in there. And then these two little batches over here is what we use for our yum slime, which is a clay slime scented like ice cream and a layer of pink and yellow with fake sprinkles on top. And all of you obviously love this slime so much because we always have to make these batches because it is so popular. And look at all of these boxes. My dad and my sister folded all of these for us. And now it's time for some big batch ASMR playing.
over here we've got our big batch of basic slime that has been filled up nicely and then next to it we've got our clear batch which has also been filled up really nicely so there's our basic batch and our clay batch and then if we go over here we've got a whole big batch of cloud slime right there and then there's a little bit of icing slime and then here's the whole big batch of icing slime in there and then in here we've got our clear but we still need to mix more because that's not enough and then that's basically it so once all of our big batches are done and our stations are clear, it's time to start making all of the orders that we receive. And this is the process of making Dreamcatcher and Seashell Seashore. And then here we have a bunch of little mini slimes that we love adding as extras or including in treat boxes. And if you are wondering what the mushroom actually looks like, we do have an updated slime room tour that will be posted in Christmas week. And here we have our super popular best-selling kit, Wish Come True. We did post an unboxing video of this kit on our channel. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm so excited for Christmas week. Remember to subscribe and put on notifications if you don't want to miss it.